everyone today I'm back to share a crochet project with you and a tutorial so um, I've been making these um, hair scrunchies guess they're called out of wool um, so yeah I've made them in loads of different ones they're just yeah like a hair scrunchie so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial showing you how I made this so the first thing you'll need is like a hair tie hair bubble um, you can get these in various colors if you want to like sort of match um, your wall but when it's all put you don't actually see it underneath there um, at the moment I have um, these brown ones these I tend to pick up um, I find really cheap in um, Primark and um, they come like in a pack of I think 50 of them I think it is for like a pound or might even be more in there um, and they come in um, I think you can get them in various colors I think the main ones I tend to buy is the brown and the black um, for mine and the girls hair um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your hair bubble you're going to need a crochet hook um, for this tutorial um, you tie your wool or yarn or whatever you're using around I tend to do it um, on the see the seam of the bubble I tend to try and put it over that um, just like so and you're just going to leave a little bit of a an end there so then what you're going to do is you're going to put your hook through you're going to grab your yarn and you are going to chain four so you grab your yarn and you chain four so one two three four all right so once you chained four you're then going to work in the second chain from your um hair tie so you're going to go in now um, and you're going to do a double let me get this right it's a double crochet for the US and it'd be a single crochet um, for the UK terms so you're going to grab um, the yarn you're going to put it in you're going to grab the yarn so you have three on your hook you're going to grab the yarn again and then this time you are going to um, hook it into the the bottom over the bottom so you can grab the yarn there grab the yarn like so I hope this makes sense then you're going to come off two then you're going to come off another two right so that technically is um one double crochet then you're going to come off another two and then the next two so it's kind of like two double crochets on top of each other if that makes sense i hope that makes sense so the, the next time so once you've done that first round your second round you're going to work i'm trying so in between those two there's a gap so you can see that so that's like your crochet there and that's your chain for there right so in there you're going to grab the yarn you're going to go in there in that space there grab the yarn pull it through grab the yarn again and then you're going to go round the um, bobble and grab the yarn again all right so then you're going to work it off so you're going to do two two so that becomes one double crochet and then two two that makes sense um so i'll do it again so you grab the yarn you go in the, that see that was the first space that you worked in there you're working in the, this next space so you're going to grab the yarn go in now grab the yarn pull it through grab the yarn again go under the bobble grab the yarn 
So then you've got one, two, three, four, five chains on your on your hook. So then you're gonna grab the yarn, pull it through two, grab the yarn, pull it through two, which would be like the bottom half, and then you grab the yarn, pull it through two, grab the yarn, pull it through two. So you're gonna carry on doing that. So it's yarn in the next space, yarn. Yarn round the bobble, yarn, <clears throat> and then pull it through two at a time. So through those two, through those two, that, and then that. I hope this is making sense. So this is how it would look. So effectively, it's kind of like you're double crocheting two on top of each other. Um, grab the yarn in that hole, grab the yarn, pull it through, grab the yarn again, through the um, bobble, bring it through again, and then working it off your crochet hook two at a time. And that's it guys. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Um, but yeah, so you're just going to do that all all the way round um yes yeah, so i'm going to um meet you back when i'm at the end and i will show you how to um sign it off now i've um done all the way round um i've done about 55 give or take of those um chains um you can do more if you want to do more you can do less it's entirely up to you how you want it to look i kind of like it a bit scrunched up the ruffles you could have it more flat if you wanted or you could have more um gathering if you wanted so it's entirely up to you but roughly i do about 55 um chains all the way around um so then to sign off so it looks like this to sign off you're just gonna in that chain first chain four that you did in the top one you are going to do a slip stitch i'm using the most um thickest wall here and um, so it's hard to go through so you're just going to slip stitch those two together um and i like to do another one in the next chain just to sign it off like that um, and then turn off like this and then I like to cut um, quite a bit off um, a few inches off and I'll pull that tight like so so then what I like to do because you've got this kind of opening here um, and then you've got the t the end of the where you began down there so I try and work my way down um, so what I will do is I will just thread this through so I like to pull it through um, and then I like to kind of just join I guess these two together so I'll just go through that one try and get through this one like that and then just pull it all the way through um, and yeah I will do that pretty much all the way all the way down it just brings it closes that gap there um, You could have, if you've got um, a needle, um, it'd be easier in a crochet hook. So yeah, see so that's kind of closed that gap now. You can't, there's no opening there. So then I bring it to the that one. I then tie these two together. I mean, you don't have to do this, but this is how I, I like it all. I guess I'm quite fussy and like it quite neat. Um, so yeah, I'll tie that and then I will chop this one off slightly 
and then I will thread these through because I, I want to hide that knot there so where it's chained here I'll just go through the middle of them well, my crochet hook through the middle I'll grab those two and then I will pull it through you've got to manipulate it a bit because I'm using quite thick wool so then that goes through those and then I will just trim that down because you can't see it and that's it that's how and you can't see that seam there the join um, yeah that's how I like it and then I just move it because it's a bit more gathered that side than this side um, I'll just move them around a bit more and that's it guys um, great hair scrunchie and I've done it in this um, velvet wool I picked this up I've hauled this in um, my previous um, hobby craft haul it's quite expensive wool but it does make a lot um, I have got, so I've done that one, and then I've done a few other, um, yeah, packaged up a few. Um, I think I'm going to do these as, they're quite nice little gifts. It's like a set of two in there. Sorry for the glare, guys. Um, yes, I've done that. Pink one. I thought they'd be nice gifts um, to give out. Um, you can put those in hampers and stuff as well. Um, so that's it, guys. That's all I have to share. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, I'll catch you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.